let's have a look at spacing and sizing and basically, yeah, sizing the layout in the dashboard. So we do that under this site tab here. So under the dashboard tab and then under the site tab, there we could give our, our name, our site a title. So whatever you wanna call it, you could call it there. You could give the name there and that's what'll show up here in the title bar. And you could have some options here. You could show the title bar or hide the title bar if you like. And with the tabs, you could um, allow swiping between the tabs. So that might be something else you'd like to play with. Uh, the format of the date, you could adjust here by mixing these letters around. Could be useful depending where you are in the world. And down here, we'll get to the more interesting part, and that's widget sizing, spacing, and then the group padding and spacing. So let's look at this first, the group spacing. We've got um, two groups here. They're not too far apart, right? So that is six pixels apart from each other. And that's this here, so let's just make it a little, um, let's overdo it a bit, just so we can see what's going on. So we have horizontal spacing and vertical spacing. So we'll deploy that. We won't be able to see the vertical because we don't have enough cards in our group or groups, but you see now that this has 50 pixels. And yes, here as well, there might be 50 pixels from the top. So that's a way you could uh, you could lay out your user dashboard. or So that's a way you could lay out the groups in your user dashboard, add some spacing between them. And the final one we're gonna look at here is the widget size and widget spacing. So we could increase this here as well. So let's make that um, let's make the vertical spacing. Let's add that to make that 50 just so we could really get a crazy look at it. And then we'll deploy that and we'll have a look at it. And you see here that now there's 50 pixels between each one of these elements. Uh, so that's a demonstration of that. And the final one we'll look at here is the widget size itself. So here we could, um, here we could define the default one by one widget size. And one by one will make more sense in a minute. So let's make this 200 by 200 for now, just to get a look at what it will look like. And we'll see here that each one of these elements is 200 by 200. And that looks terrible, but you get the idea. So it was 48 by 48, and that's the base. So let's pull in a few buttons just to have a better idea of what's going on here. So we'll pull in two or three of these buttons, and I'll add them to the second group. Now inside these, under here, under size, it says auto, and auto means it'll, it'll follow, it'll automatically size it. So we could adjust this by saying, so one by one, and that's what one by one widget size means. So now that that's one by one, it'll be 48 by 48. And for the second one, I'll make it two by two, just so we could get a good idea of what's going on here. And the third one, we'll make it, I don't know, we'll make it six by six, just to get a, a good idea of what's going on. And we'll deploy that, and let's have a look at it. And you see here, this is 48 by 48, and this is two times 48, which is just short of 100. My math isn't that great. Uh, don't trust a programmer who can't do math, right? So this one's four by four, and this one here is six by six. So that's a way that you could size these buttons out. And this could be handy. Um, that gives you a little more control over what your user interface looks like. It's not the kind of control we're used to in AV where we could drag a button anywhere on the screen that we like. And that's because these are HTML web pages. And in HTML, it has a different structure. You never know how what the size of your screen is going to be. So they break things up into what are called divs. So everything has a section and a row, an element, belongs in a section and a row, and that's why things are not like we're used to seeing them, but it's still not impossible to make it look halfway decent. So that's how you deal with sizing in the Node-RED dashboard.